Now, about 16 million girls under 18 give birth each year. This is according to the United Nations Population Fund. Most of them live in countries like Ghana, and many of them have no access to vital information about their lives and their future. Can ignorance of reproductive health rights change your life? Day Day Ayi tells her story. 17 and already a mother, Day Day Ayi still has no idea what reproductive health care entails. She is barely able to care for herself. Now she has to care for a three month old. She was thrust into this situation. No preparation, no information, simply no idea what the consequence of one action could be, just like many adolescents globally. We haven't integrated um, sexual reproductive health and rights for the youth. Our providers are still saying, Accra Bonnie, why are you coming here asking for, you know, um, contraception and so forth. They don't even want to go. And so their peers are telling them what to do, what to think. And so they're getting all the wrong information and doing all the wrong things, the things that are endangering their lives and not empowering them. Even in urban areas, reproductive health centers are rare. The few accessible ones are not friendly. If we could get such a center where we would just walk in and access information, we would be very glad. Regina Mensa, 19, also in a difficult situation, like Dede, she had no idea what she could get herself into. The only difference, she was 18. Dede and Regina's grandmother does her best to care for them and their other siblings. Now, she has an extra two mouths to feed with the same resources. As the world's population approaches 7.2 billion with a large number being adolescents, health experts fear the inaction of leaders could jeopardize the future of many young people. Information that the youth need when they come to a clinic, a Ghana health service or any kind of service provider is just to be sensitive to their needs. And that's a simple training that somebody needs to go through. If we fail to do this, we will have a cohort, a generation who have not planned their, their, their lives, they have not planned their families, they will be less educated than we are now because there will be so much dropout. Our development as a country will, will um, this middle income that we are all trying to achieve and trying to attain and so forth, will not be a reality. Millennium Development Goal 5 targets to achieve universal access to reproductive health by 2015 and it may be possible if adolescents have access to friendly reproductive health services and information. How do you think we can give adolescents more information on their reproductive health? Let us know, News Generation on Facebook. Let's move on now to some other stories.